In a startling change of events, the Kardashian drama takes yet another unexpected turn as tensions between sisters Kim and Courtney increase. I do want to have my own baby, but I honestly don't know if my body can handle it one more time. I take the baby and then I go to another room and you're sort of separated like I felt it was such a transactional experience and you like take the kid and you're like bye, thank you so much. I think the right thing to do would be to not have a baby at all. Courtney has allegedly leaked evidence related to Kim's policy, sparking a wave of speculation I'm not sure, but the rift between the two sisters has reportedly widened after Courtney allegedly claimed that Kim has been lying about everything. This has shocked the Kardashian family, and according to sources at Beyond, Courtney was motivated by a desire to expose Kim's alleged attempts to cultivate an idealized persona that may not actually reflect reality. It seems that Courtney is now confronting her sisters for choosing to use surrogates rather than carrying their own offspring directly. She made a comment akin to taking the child and quickly making a deal, expressing that the appropriate time was now. The incident highlights the difficulties of sibling relationships, especially in a culture where fame and public perception are paramount. In fact, Courtney has responded to Kim and Chloe's prolonged public criticisms with a sharp retort. Courtney, who is expecting her first child with husband Travis Barker, recently shared a new pregnancy photo. Fans are certain that the caption was directed at Kim and Chloe and that she chastised them for using surrogates to carry their children. Just a few months after Chloe publicly acknowledged struggling to connect with her son, she expressed regret for taking him away from his surrogate mother, characterizing the process as being excessively transactional. On the other hand, Kim had previously come under fire for allegedly lying about her pregnancy-related complications. Many of her followers believe she chose surrogates for her third and fourth children because she wanted to maintain her body, although it's unclear why she thinks it has an impact. There are accusations against Kourtney Kardashian that she has criticised her sisters Kim and Clay inadvertently. This is because in June she made a comment that appeared to criticise her sister's choice to use surrogates rather than carry their own children. Courtney disclosed that she was expecting a child with her husband Travis Barker and that window falls was due between October and December of 2023. For a while, Courtney and Travis had trouble getting pregnant. After multiple failed IVF cycles, they decided to stop all medical intervention and let nature take its course. Just before announcing her pregnancy, Courtney stated that if she and Travis were truly intended to have a child, it would happen naturally. She also stated that she was firmly opposed to utilising a surrogate in the interim. When asked about feeling less bonded, Ploy openly admitted on a Kardashian episode that she was having trouble connecting with her son, Tandem, who was born through surrogacy. Some fans theorise that her struggles might have been made worse by the fact that soon after her surrogate gave birth, she discovered that Tristan Thompson, the child's father, had fathered another child with Morally Nichols. In any case, criticisms were levelled at Ploy. However, there are other factors at work in the same episode as well. Although we portrayed the entire experience as transactional in nature, Many fans didn't feel sympathetic towards Chloe given her wealth of resources that could have been used to gain a deeper understanding of the reality of policy. Instead, it seems she treated the entire process as though it were just another commercial transaction. Concurrently, Kim faced her own guilt over separating Tatum from his surrogate mother. Kim immediately changed her position saying that carrying one's own child cannot be compared to hiring a surrogate and highlighting the special bond that occurred when the baby is inside one's own 
womb and can feel the mother's own heartbeat. Interestingly, in an unexpected turn of events, during Clay's visit on Kelly Clarkson's show in October last year, she confessed that Kim's influence was what motivated her to embrace service policy, meaning that without Kim she might not have chosen this path. Surrogacy is the second situation, and I have to say it's an amazing experience. However, in a recent episode of The Kardashian Show, Chloe said she wished someone had been honest with her about the realities of policy. She wished for candor regarding the contrasts involved, but she also emphasized that this doesn't categorize it as either positive or negative. As a result, many fans suggested that Chloe might have been wise to ignore Kim's advice given Kim's history of underperforming. Fans continued by describing how Kim had spent months praising surrogacy and encouraging Chloe to embrace who embraced the need to turn the tables when Chloe started to feel unsure and confirmed that the experience was indeed different and the baby didn't sense her heartbeat. In contrast, fans countered that Courtney would never have supported Chloe's use of a surrogate for selfish reasons, while Kim herself was Kim. Many supporters believe that these allegations may have been exaggerated and that her reluctance to have more children was mostly caused by the significant weight she gained during her first two pregnancies. It's interesting to note that Kim admitted during her appearance on Kristen Bell's podcast that she detested the process of pregnancy. She shared that she regularly cried because she felt unsightly saying, I wasn't a cute pregnant person. I did not like it. I hated it. Kim continued, expressing her dislike for both how she felt and how she appeared. She recalled how she had grown accustomed to seeing her mother and sister during their pregnancies, who both seemed adorable and had easy births while quickly regaining their pre-pregnancy proportions. Kim lamented that her experience diverged significantly from this norm in the same conversation. Kim voiced dissatisfaction regarding not having a gym within her residence when she gave birth to her. Daughter North Owen to her unease about working out at a public gym she resorted to exercising in Kris Jenner's garage, reflecting on her weight gain, she disclosed I gained 70 pounds I would sit. In my mom's garage, and it was literally probably 150 degrees in Calabasas in the summertime, I'd have my dog. Her in a stroller and I'd sit her in there and I would just work out in the garage and try to do anything I could, until I didn't. It was due to comments of this nature that certain fans speculated. Kim might have either feigned her medical issues or heightened their severity, hence she could engage a surrogate without drawing accusations of shallowness now that Courtney has posted a new pregnancy update expressing her gratitude and privilege in carrying her own child fans are speculating whether C. Arne might be subtly addressing her sister's use of surrogates fans believe that Courtney's recent posts this speculation was furthered by Clay's recent public admission of not conducting thorough research to grasp the intricacies of the service policy process, implying that she approached it rather naively. Chloe revealed this is not easy. I definitely put my head in the sand during that pregnancy that I didn't digest what was happening, and so I think that's why Kim and Chloe decided not to personally bear their own offspring. Many fans came to Courtney's defence, saying that she probably wasn't thinking of Kim and Chloe when she wrote the caption, instead they thought she was trying to express her gratitude for the, the chance to have her own child at the age of 40 after her previous stretch goals. In light of this, do you think Courtney was genuinely trying to criticise Kim and Chloe for using surrogates? Let me know in the comment section. Forum.